Um, hey, Cactus. Hey, Cactus. Hey, Cactus. This is an interview style podcast now, by the way. Hey, Cactus. You pick up any new hobbies lately? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. No? I haven't. Why are you talking like that? Go on. No, no, we're not. We're not just walking past. I had a whole bit prepared. We're not just walking past. You gotta that. do the bit. What was you that? Gotta do the bit. You gotta do the bit. No, no, what? what no, it, what was it. that? No, we're talking do, about do that it, now. Do it. No, no, no. You no, don't get to just no. not do that. No. What? What was? What was that? No, elaborate. I don't know what you mean. You're a liar. I think I haven't you're, ever lied you're a liar. In that, that okay, least, no, I know that's a lie. I haven't lied in the past four seconds. It's been more than four seconds since I called you a lie. That doesn't help your case. In yeah, fact, that would imply that you did lie over four, that slightly over four there, seconds. So how could ago. I lie if I just told the truth? That's not how truth works. How do you know so much about how truth works? Why would you need to, unless you broke it? Because I'm studying law. Bad. I'm not actually studying law. That was a lie. <laughs> hmm. So, so take back your nerd. Okay, but you just said you were doing something, and then you weren't. I don't know what that's that that sounds like to what? you. To me, that sounds like a bit of a lie. What what even are you talking about? You said I'm studying law, and then you said no, I'm I'm actually not studying. So and then I immediately said that was a lie. Yeah, it you was a lie. That You're you just right. Lied. Yeah. So now I never said there was anything wrong with lying. Okay, you have. But I lied. I did what. I don't know, dude. So <laughs> no, I straight up did not hear what you were. I straight up did not hear what you said. You are so far off course of an intro right now. Anyways, to welcome to Quibble Pro. <laughs> That, are we going with that one? <laughs> Why not? No, I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah, we're going. We're going with that one. Welcome to Quibbleco, everybody. Hi, I'm Alf City. I use they Z pronouns. Hi, I'm Cactus. Fear me. I do. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, the bit I was originally trying to get at is I've recently taken up uh, photography, right? Photography, cameras, yeah. and stuff. My old camera is kind of broken, but that's a whole different story. I like photographs. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But there's not a whole lot of things in my area that are photographic. Um, I'm sorry, what? There isn't, like, in, in my area, there aren't, like, a whole lot of places that are photographic. So, like, yeah, I'd, I'd just... do it, I do it when I travel and stuff. No, 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 no. See, see, you just said a word. That's that's not a word. You might think it's a word. Travel? That, what you said? No. No, I assure um, you, travel is a word. I use it all the time. <laughs> Photographic. What? Photographic. Photographic. No, no. Photographic. Photographic. I that's just not a word. I don't I don't know what Wait, you're saying. Have you been saying I, photographic wrong your entire life? Have you been saying it wrong your entire life? Look, dude, I know we're talking about <laughs> hobbies. I was unaware you picked up a new language. It's photographic. No. I don't know. I don't explain know what that. you're talking no, about. Did you learn that. from explain. reading? Because I've explain. done that too before. Explain. I've done that too before. Explain what you're saying. Explain how it would be photographic. Photographic. How? I can't think of any other words to end with graphic, but that's how it's pronounced. Graphic. Graphic novel. Would you say graphic novel? That doesn't end. That's not a suffix of graphic. Does it matter? Yeah. 
Yeah, it, de- it uh-huh. definitely matters. No, 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 no. Don't know what you're talking about. What other words end with graphic? Um, I'm googling this. I, this is this is a search up podcast now. Slash graphic. Suffix. Graphic. You're going to very great lengths to prove this point, but you are just wrong. So I don't quite, I don't quite know what you're doing. Um, hmm. Phonographic? I... No, that's I not a word. Don't no. even, I actually don't <laughs> even know what that word is. So I can't even tell you if you're saying it wrong. You could have made it up again, um, just like that other word you said. Um... Calligraphic? I, I again, I don't know what these words mean. None oh, graphic doesn't look like a word to anymore me. to me. No, none of these words are words to me. I'm going to be honest to you. That now, is a you problem. They you are just, words. No the, first one, no, the first one you said wrong, which was my whole thing, which is why it's not a word. These other words you're saying, I just don't know them. I, I couldn't even tell you if you're saying them wrong because I don't know these <laughs> words. You're, look, you're going to great it's like to prove calligraphy. This point, and you know what? I know what you're. I know that you're wrong. But you Calli- can't throw. You, you don't know what calligraphy a, is. You can't throw advanced terms in my face to prove your point because it's I simply calligraphy. will not go. This it's literally this sign can't stop me because I can't read. You're, this means nothing to me. How am I meant to prove your point if you're ignorant on the subject? Hmm? I'm not ignoring it. I just don't understand it. I said ignorant. Okay. Meaning you don't understand. I listen. I, I tried to. Point. I tried I to do a thing. I don't know at this point. Okay. And I don't. You aren't know. helping I don't anymore. I don't understand at this point. Okay. Just you're pronouncing it wrong. It's photographic. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> we'll move on from this. We'll move on from this because I'm okay. pretty sure we can all just agree that Obsidian is objectively wrong here. No. We don't need to argue. We don't no, I think this is more of a subjective wrong we thing. But all right, to... <laughs> what 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 are you got? We don't we don't need to argue about this more because it's just gonna keep going. The name around. of the podcast is Quibble Co. Yes. All right. All right. I'm aware what we're supposed to do here, but you're also supposed to, you know, argue about things worth arguing about, and this isn't worth arguing about. Look, quibble That's means kind of to rude, get not unnecess- gonna lie. They get it means to get unnecessarily heated over something that doesn't really matter, right? But I'm not yeah. even unnecessarily heated because there's nothing to debate here. I I'm aware that you're wrong. Wow. Well. Wow, you just that's so close minded of you, Cactus. It's not close minded. It's such narrow thinking, actually. It is very narrow thinking. Thinking widely is very difficult. I can't have more than one thought at once. It Again, must, uh, a you problem. Yeah, I know. Fine, fine. If we're moving on from the subject, what what other ideas do you have, huh? Because if you don't say anything, I'm gonna start saying okay, that other ideas words. Ideas for conversation or ideas in general? Because I do have a lot of ideas in general. I would say in general, but like just for conversation for right now, because you don't want to talk about this, so now you now, have to provide something now. else to talk about. Okay, I'm gonna ignore what you just said, because I'm. We should. I need to talk about. You ever? You ever? Okay, hear me out here. You ever hear me out? As a kid, see, when I was a kid, look, I, 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 you know, would daydream a lot and just think of random stuff, right? Because I would be bored a lot. I would space out and just think of random cool things. Now, did you, and I need to, I'm just asking this. Did you ever, like, as a kid, just think of random inventions? Because I did this, like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, of I course I did, space yeah. Out. Do you remember any of them? Because I always, find, look, look, it's always funny to me looking back. Because some of them, I was like, that actually isn't a bad idea. I just don't think it'd be possible to make. But some of them are like, bro, I think I, I think I almost, when I was really young and didn't understand how microwaves worked, I almost just like, 
reinvented the microwave in my head. Okay, I didn't do that, and I don't remember any of the inventions I thought of, oh, but I oh. definitely thought of a few. Oh man, I I had some good ones. I had some good. I don't remember all of them. Enlighten us. Do... What were they? Okay, I don't know. I I think the most recent idea I have invention idea, and this wasn't even when I was a kid. I had was like, what if we made portable dehumidifiers so we could just constantly refill water? Like. Like, it's just sucking the water out of the air? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that would maybe work in some areas. It would work, actually, in most areas. It's just that dehumidifiers kind of suck. It's, I mean, literally. But, I mean, <laughs> especially when they're small. <laughs> okay. You're not wrong. I say in some areas, just because there are problems with, like, air getting too dry and stuff. If um, air, like, air gets too dry, just rehumidify it. All you that's need in life not is a how it works. All you need in life is a dehumidifier and a humidifier, and that's you're set. That's not how it works. Look, you collect it. I honestly want to make just a really just unnecessary system to eat electricity. Where I just have a humidifier and a dehumidifier in the same room, and they're racing each other. Actually, that might work as a, like a water purifying system. No, I just want to eat as much electricity as possible from this one <laughs> thing. Just wildly inefficient. And guess, because guess what? As soon as the dehumidifier was full, I would take the water out and put it back in the humidifier. Chaos. Chaos is all you crave <laughs> at all at all times. It's just no, chaos. Not at all time. Sometimes I want cookies. Do you think cookies don't count as chaos, Cactus? I'm sorry. What? Do you think cookies don't count as cookies? Can absolutely be chaos if you are yeah, a anything coward. Anything can be chaotic, but you just said that cookies are objectively chaotic. They and are. Look, I I appreciate. You know, I admire. Your your aspirations for being chaotic, but but what? Literally, all you do is throw a bunch of ingredients together. Literally, just, slap no, it I'm onto you a off tray here. and I am then cutting throw you it in here. the oven. You are describing cooking. You're describing the process of cooking. Yeah, you cook cookies. You you can't you can't no 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 no. Everything, if you're gonna do this, everything's Welcome chaotic. to Quibble Co, everybody. Everything, Today we're cooking every, cookies. Everything is chaotic if you want to just talk about it like that. Talking, talking is chaotic. We just make a bunch of... No, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I don't know why I said that three times, but it's fine. We can just move on. You're ruining a lot of fun right now, Cactus. Okay, look, I'm just, I'm just very tired, okay? And whose fault is that? <laughs> no, no one's? No, mm, one's, I'm not, mm, no I'm not one's. sure about that one. I don't, the I'm, American I don't education quite system. You. you don't go to the American <laughs> education system. <laughs> I'm still gonna blame it because it's easier. You can you blame, can blame the Canadian can, education system, no, you know? you can blame the American education. It's, the American education system is just like the oldest child at this point. You could just say they did something and it'd be like, okay, sure. Hey. Yeah? I'm the oldest child. Okay, and? You're right. Is you're right. Though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. But you have your own education system that is to blame. It's it's mostly the same. Let's be honest. It's very similar. It's very similar except in name. Yeah, and and there are different parts of our histories that we hide, all right? I mean, we don't hide our history. It's just bad. We're pretty, I mean, this is the issue, though. I can't say we don't hide our history, because if it was hidden, we wouldn't know. This is how conspiracy theories are made, and this is why the moon landing is fake. I just meant, like, it's not taught in schools. Not that all oh, evidence of it was erased everywhere. How do you know? 
If if that if something like that because existed, I do my own research. If something if something like that existed, you wouldn't be able to find it. Some something to that Quibble all Code. evidence we're having everywhere an existential, was deleted about. We're, we're having an existential crisis today, boys. Yeah, I can call off school yeah. now. Nothing is real. Are you okay? I've started a small fire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How did you do that? I matches. Why do you have why do you have matches? Who gave you matches? <laughs> so who gave you who, who made that definitely mistake? Definitely not smart. <laughs> who made the mistake of giving you matches? Wait, wait, wait. Let me do some ASMR real quick. Cactus. C cactus. Yeah. Cactus. Yeah. Why are you lighting small fires, Cactus? You are inside, okay. Cactus. <laughs> yes, I am I am aware. No, no, no. I'm actually recording this outside in my igloo. I knew you were Canadian. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and that all was a true conspiracy theory all along. Really. But that's just a theory. A Canada I can't theory. I can't finish the rest of that without getting copyright struck. I said a Canada theory. Is that copyrighted? Yeah. You didn't know what the four... Look, look, look. He has the three channels, right? By the way, food theory? I, I'm gonna be real. I know how I feel about that one. But anyways, the fourth one is actually Canada theory. Because no one knows what happens in Canada. You could just make the... It's like Nebraska. What the hell is a Nebraska? <laughs> you can just say things about Nebraska and someone would probably be like, okay, that's fair. Oh, yeah. I don't know enough to refute you on that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, because it's Nebraska. Ah! <laughs> Why did... Hello? Why is there music <laughs> playing? Wait, huh? I, I, All of a sudden, what? music just started playing. Presumably for me, I've got it under control now, because uh, apparently I actually pressed an unpause button. I say an unpause button because I didn't press the actual unpause button that I have. It just decided to unpause. What? Does that not happen to you? Okay, you, 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 you pressed the unpause button, but not the actual unpause button that unpaused the thing that wasn't from the unpause button that you were pressing, which unpaused the thing. I didn't press any unpause buttons. But you just, as far as I'm aware. You just said you just said that you what you literally. No, I the music unpaused. As as far as I can tell, I didn't press any buttons. Anyways, this isn't the important part. What song was it? Um, I don't remember. You are stealing my brand left, right, and center. Might I add? Oh great! So Miller Sut now, lovely. You can't no. You can't just steal my brand like that. First of all, you're saying things that don't make sense, and second of all, you're saying you don't remember. Now look, that's I don't know the who true you lore of this podcast. Are, buddy. I don't know who okay. you think you are, buddy, but you can't do that. I know I set small fires, and I know that probably greatly upset you. But you can't just retaliate. You can't fight fire with fire. Although I know fires that are is my domain, you would cactus. Do. That is something you would likely do. There is only one way to stop a fire, which is a bigger fire. Hey, because then they hey. just join together and make an even bigger fire. Hey, fires are my domain, Cactus. And I really, you, now that you pointed out, I really did not appreciate you uh, intruding on my domain. Second of all, um, this just in. Quibble does actually have lore. It's just me slowly becoming Cactus the Kid underscore. How dare you? Very easily. You're watching it happen right before your eyes and you're barely noticing a thing. I'm not watching anything. I'm watching two random spheres glow. That sounds really cool. Can I see? No. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I don't know why I said spheres like it was a 3D object when it was literally just a circle. 
Me either, but I wasn't gonna point I, anything out. Every time, okay, no, any time something is a sphere, I call it a circle. And now apparently, any time I think it's a circle, I call it a sphere. Why do you do that? To be f to be fair, a sphere is just many circles, and a real circle doesn't exist. It's just a bunch of small lines. Oh, that's awful! <laughs> Don't say that again. Yeah. It's just uh, look. If you like zoomed out on a circle. Or sorry, if there was a circle and you just kept zooming in, it would eventually just look like a dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Yeah. We up here learning about. I hold up. I'm math. now. I'm it's now math remembering time. in math and geometry we learned about this thing, which was an infinite sided shape. Mm -mm, I don't mm, remember nope, the name. Nope. No. I don't Not going the in there. Name for this, but I do like the idea of this. Of this existing. I feel like that is just uh, what a sphere is. That is no. what a sphere is. A sphere, yeah. is a sphere is limited. A sphere is not limited. It, will, it has many, many, many sides. But eventually, if under close enough inspection, you could probably determine which is which. No. How many is the final amount? Wrong. No, no, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, okay, well, if you kept inspecting it, you would notice it was even more uneven. But the thing about that is, that's how atoms work. So I'm not letting you do that. <laughs> I don't like your brain. <laughs> that's fair. Many I don't, don't. I don't like how it works very Many much don't. in this exact moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look, my brain is an enigma wrapped in a question mark, wrapped in, this is a really old analogy. I don't even know what an enigma is. I think that's wrapped kind in of the point. Wrapped a couple liars, layers of fire. I don't know why. I think the fact that I don't know what an enigma is, is just kind of, it's really to the point. To be fair, I couldn't tell you the technical definition of an enigma either. And you, it's something you just kind of know, but you can't explain. But, like, it's definitely true, you know? Yeah. That sounds like a monologue from a Disney movie. I am from a Disney movie. I don't know what you're talking it's about. Something, it's something you just can't explain. But you just know it's there. Hmm. No, that makes me sound like that the main <laughs> character who just fell in love and is trying to convince their parents to let them fall in love. That's just that's just not what I want. Man, I was about to say Frozen, but then you said parents, and I was like, ah, never mind. Yeah, hence hence why that couldn't happen because <laughs> where are the parents, man? I know, man. I'm I I have a theory, right? That there was a certain pig who may be wearing a crown allegedly mm -hmm. who may have been involved in this situation now do i have proof no do i believe it still yes see i'm gonna go ahead and refute this because the main characters would be dead not their parents mm, oh that's true maybe that's frozen three <laughs> is that why they had? Is that why he also had like, wow. a huge like power montage and became master of like you know all of the fo which is by the way water and ice are both included in the quote unquote four elements? How? But I didn't even. No, I don't think that's true. No, it's not okay. It's water and ice in that movie. It's water and ice. I don't know mm -hmm. which one. I, maybe they included like five or something instead. But like they they counted it as two separate things. No. What, no, what I don't do think they no? did. What do you mean no? No, I don't. I don't think they did. Uh, so it was water, fire, uh, air, and earth. Uh, Where are you getting the ice? There was barely any ice in that movie. Uh, ah. Uh, ah! I really hope this is entertaining for you guys to listen to. No, it's just me yelling into a mic. Ah! Uh, no, legitimately, where was the ice? There, there wasn't Hi, any welcome ice. To, welcome to Quibbleco, everyone. Ah. <laughs> a true introduction. <laughs> You I'm aren't answering my question. You're avoiding my question. Where was the ice? In Frozen? Yeah. 
I mean, everywhere. Not after the spell barrier came down. No, ice, ice was kind of a big part. I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, that's right, right, sorry, I'm lying, I'm lying. Again? Yeah. Maybe saying... you're thinking of, like, Elsa? She's the only one who had ice powers, but that's more like spirit. I guess. I'm right on this. I watched Frozen 2 probably more than you have. Hello? Mm. Why did you just- are you good? Why did you just disappear? Because. What's with that voice? I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Hmm. Are you gaslight gatekeep girl bossing? Oh, well, I am gaslight gatekeep. I don't know. I I feel like there has to. Okay, I feel like there has to be a better third word to use instead of girl boss. Gender boss. No, no. Mm. Gender boss. While I appreciate what people are going for when they say gender boss, I literally just imagine. Just like a cartoonish, just like person just standing over looming and they have like an aura, right? And the mm. aura is just gender. <laughs> <laughs> I It's not the same, right? Girl boss and gender boss, two very different things. The ultimate gender. Exactly. Gender boss is who you fight. Like... <laughs> At the end of the one game that actually has queer representation, yeah. No, 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 no. You would not, this would not be a game about queer representation if you're fighting it. I mean, it I depends. No, it depends I said on what that actually like. has queer because representation. Because I would, if you would like to get, look, if you would like to get, if you would like to get, to go to the gender boss, like the gender boss steals your gender, right? That can be pretty cool. That can be exactly what some people are looking for. So, I mean. Uh, see, when you said gender boss, I thought, like, this is, this is an entity that has all the genders already, and is kind of, like, enforcing gender, you know? Mm, mm, no. That would be the gender god. Ah. Also known. Actually, I was gonna say someone's name, but it doesn't even matter, because Twitter would start an argument about who has the most gender. Both of you two assume we have enough clout to actually start a Twitter argument. I mean, fair. However, it doesn't take much. I will say, Gender God, otherwise known as recently deceased. You you killed the Gender God. Yeah. Uh, why? What do you mean, why? Why'd you do that? What do you think? I I couldn't tell you. Mate. May I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. I am I am non-binary. Why'd, look, I don't why'd like you, gender. Why'd you kill? Why'd you much. kill the gender god? Why'd you kill the gender god? You didn't need to do it. Uh, I didn't need to, until it started harassing me. Why did it do that? I don't know. Anyways, Maybe because I threw out the one it already look, gave me. What are what is a better word to say instead of girl boss? Um, I don't actually mushroom boss. This definitely isn't no. because I just looked over and saw a mushroom. It has to have alliteration. Hmm. Mycelium boss. That. I. I it's come alliteration on, with my no. room. No. No, that's, that's not what I meant, and you know that. I did know that, but it didn't register in my brain in time. This That one wasn't actually really? a bit. Okay. That was legitimately okay. me thinking it was actual <laughs> alliteration. Okay. My gaslight game, gaslight gatekeep mycelium bar. <laughs> Listen. Gaslight mm. gatekeep touch grass. Gaslight gatekeep garden boss. Gaslight gatekeep gamer. All right. That's that works for a very specific subset of people, and I guess you do technically fall in that subset. 
Yeah, I guess. Being okay. being a Minecraft YouTuber and all. Oh, right, because I'm so active on my Minecraft YouTube channel. You are. So very active. Yes, oh wait, I and thought In playing it was Minecraft Gaslight. and uploading Minecraft videos onto your Minecraft YouTube channel. Yeah, I thought of one, though. I thought of one. Thought I feel pretty one. good about this one. I actually have two. We'll shoot. So we have, yeah, we have gas. Look, I'll start with my weaker one. So we have Gaslight Gatekeep Gary the Snail. Wrong. What's the next one? <laughs> You're not going to like this. Mm, maybe we'll keep Gary the Snail. <laughs> okay. Gaslight Gatekeep Garfield. <laughs> Hold on, where's my bong stick? I'm not I'm laughing because I think stick. it's funny. I'm laughing bonk. because I knew you would you wouldn't like it. Bonk. That no, no, no. You can't just hit me with an with an E chord. With an that's not even E chord, it's a note. <laughs> yeah. That's a C. Are you Charlie Puth now or about? something? What? That is literally just a C. What am I talking about? Okay, Charlie Puth. Anyways. Not Charlie Puth. Have you ever seen those videos of Charlie Puth doing the perfect pitch? Because he looks so That's over why it I said in it. every single... No, because he looks so over it in every single one of them. And it's so I funny. guarantee you everybody else is over it too. No, but they're like, look, dude, we're going to play this note for you and you're going to do it. And he's like, and like, and some of the videos he start like, I could tell he started off like, yeah, okay, cool. You know, whatever. It's like when someone says they're double jointed, right? Mm -hmm. And someone asks them to show it up. And the first few times the reaction's funny and everything and it's kind of cool. But then it's some sort of weird thing where it's like, haha, yeah, that's kind of cool and weird. Can I, can I, can I not anymore? Can I not? <laughs> Yeah. The, I think the funniest thing about that is that it's not really an inherited trait. It's a it's a learned thing. Like what he spent time say, look, he being spent double time jointed working. being double jointed also not an inherited trait. That's not true. I was talking about the pitch thing, actually. Don't try and I become know. double jointed. Second being, of all No, no, being double jointed is not an inherited trait. It's not. It's not. One, definitely achievable by, by your own measures. I highly encourage you to try this. Bonk! Stop encouraging <laughs> violent behavior. It's not violent, it's just dangerous. It's endangering, actually, is the proper term. Violent to anyway, yourself. Second, all, it, it literally is an inherited ter an inherited like thing you could do. It's genetic, but it's not inherited. It's not based on heritage. Just based on... Are you aware of words? What's... No, I... wait, actually, what's the difference? Is there an actual difference? What's the difference? Between what? Inherited and genetic. Because, yeah. like, those are the same thing. Okay, maybe not genetic isn't the right word, but it's definitely just a thing. It's now, like, everything... What, what are those weird squares that people use to determine, like, the traits you would get from your family? Punnett squares? Oh my god. It's fucking, you it's didn't know what name. Punnett it's Squares are dumb, called? It's such a dumb name for such a dumb name. You didn't thing. know what Anyways, Punnett Squares are called? I forget. It's it, First of all, why are they called a square and not a table? Half the time, it doesn't look like a square. It looks like a rectangle. Because it's a square divided into a bunch more squares. Okay. This is going back to the circle argument. Oh, it's just a line, but a bunch more smaller lot. No! <laughs> we didn't argue about circles. What circle argument? You argued about spheres. Like I said, I we called them the We argued about spheres, but not circles. I, 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 I call them the opposite of what they are. That's a you problem. Hope you can follow. <laughs> Good luck to me, I guess. Hope you can follow and press that like button on the video down below. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Quibble so far. Comment, tell us, do you think spheres are circles? Comment, tell us, why are you still here? <laughs> Please, God, if you're still here, I, I don't I'm know interested. what to tell you. I don't know why you are. I don't know why you are at this point. I appreciate you very much.
welcome we appreciate you but also are you okay <laughs> are you all right because i'm not if you're still here we're gonna assume you're in the same boat as cactus <laughs> right and trust me it's not a great boat i don't know how water works that's not the boat's that's not the boat. No, fault. I genuinely, I genuinely don't know how water works. How does? Aren't how you does, taking how? physics? Yeah, <laughs> you greatly overestimate what we do in physics. Okay. I know, but I know greatly water physics are a you thing. You greatly misunderstand what we do in physics, right? Misunderstand. Physics doesn't don't matter. know because I'm never ever gonna take physics because I actually like myself. Physics doesn't care about how things work. We don't. We care about how we deal with the things. We give really dumb explanations about how things work that isn't accurate to how they actually work. Okay, yeah, but like, how are you supposed to deal with the things if you don't know how the things work? Yeah, we give our own explanations. That's that, how we do it. Do you, that do you know that we, we measure everything in work? Cool thing like, I've ever In terms of work and energy, we use joules. And we use watts. That's not how atoms work. That's not how particles work at all. There's the electrons. The electrons get charged. We don't care though. We talk about applying forces. And our rule. Imagine there is a not famous, caring about there is a famous, I'm a, I care about so there much. There is a famous scientific rule. And do you want to know what that rule is? If you push on something, it pushes back. Ha! That's just not true. And, I mean... It's just practically true because of the tension between, and the bonds between atoms. But it's not like when I push on Isn't the technical table, rule, every action has an op equal opposite reaction? Opposite re Ain't okay. that the actual rule? That doesn't mean it pushes back, it just means you need to have energy right, to push on get, something look, in order to not also watch, be pushed dude, back. Dude, we get it, you watched Hamilton... You know the line from Thomas Jefferson. You get it. I know more than you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you just said, look, the way you said it, because that's not the official technical term, it's, but you still said every action has an equal opposite reaction. The number of times I've written down that exact wording of the rule. But it's not, it's not how that actually works. It's far too many times. Blame my teachers then. Blame my teachers, because yes, I listened to Hamilton. I also studied chemistry and biology and far too many I things to studied, just be I called a studied, Hamilton I, nerd. I only study physics, and it's so great. I can't tell you how great it is. Okay, basically, let me explain to you why only studying physics is good. Because I don't know anything about anyone. <laughs> I thought you were just going to stop But I do know... <laughs> no, I mean, also, I could just, you could, but I do know that if I press against this tape, like, if I press against a wall with something in my hand, then it is the most complicated thing in the world. I disagree. It's not, okay, maybe, now, that was hyperbolic, right, right, but the thing Pretty is- Pretty sure not the most complicated thing in the world. Yeah, the most complicated thing in the world is me trying to follow a continuous thought pattern. But <laughs> a single train of thought for me is the most complicated thing in the world. Doesn't exist. A single train of thought for you is really just a bouncy ball <laughs> that like landed on some train tracks at some point. A single train of thought why is it only one train? Because the train is defined as like the one. It's like just the one part. It's not the whole. I mean, there are a bunch of cars in a train. Why are they called cars? They are called cars. Yeah, but why? They're not cars. Because they existed before cars did, and cars are probably no. actually named after train cars because they why carry did, people no, and are individual. Them, why did they call those cars? Because it's a shortening of carriage? No. Yeah. <laughs> Car rage. Right, right. Alright. 
you're are you okay did you not realize this ever i actually didn't know <laughs> I, I, a shortening I genuinely of carriage. did not i did not know this I, I mean, don't think most people know that. That is a good fun... You should use that when people ask you for fun facts. Okay, I will, but to be fair, I'm not sure that's actually true. It just makes a lot of sense, and I'm going to be very that? surprised if it's not true. Why you just say like that, that, that it was true? If you don't know that it's true, how dare you spread misinformation? How am I going to know it's true? Uh, how do, do you want me to look up the etymology of car? Is how that what you, you want from me? How dare you spread misinformation on the internet? Such an inexcusable action. Now, now, everyone, everyone watching at home, this is the funny part, because every time Obsidy goes silent, I know that they're very mad at me. I am, in fact, glaring into I'm my camera not, right now. I'm not good at social cues, but this one I've got pretty figured out. You got it figured out pretty well, mate. Not gonna lie. And the funny thing about it is that it's just, it's very awkward. Because I can't see them glaring at me, or judging me in any way. I just say something, and they stop. You can feel the judgment. I can't. You I don't can't. feel judged. You should. I don't. We're so far beyond that. If someone said they were disappointed in me, I'd have to ask for what. Okay. <laughs> I would ask you if you're okay, but I You've think that's a that great note times. to end on, actually. I gotta, right. I gotta go. End off on a strong note. Ending off on a strong note? Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> anyways, anyways, thank you all for watching and sitting through another episode of what whatever this is quibble go we quibble, quibble go. cut a lot we, we did quibble <laughs> and we, we sure are a co quibble. and we look we sure are co co-evolved yeah thank you and uh i will see you guys no i won't <laughs> no 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 you won't